Hello and welcome back to Far Cry 3 Blood Dragon, the Let's Play Blind with Neo Rambler. Right then, unfortunately I wasn't able to go back and collect some money to get the remaining upgrades for my guns because I didn't realise the game would save at this point, which I assume is the final mission, so basically I can't go back and do it, which is a shame. But never mind, it doesn't really matter. They can always show them off in the video at a later date. Right now, I'm eating a scone, sorry get into bad habits. Right, let's roll them. Or walk very slowly. I believe in you, Rex. Now just believe in yourself. Ah, the eighties cliches. Also cliches still used today, really. Well we're gonna use the uh kill stocks. Apparently it's actually a very good weapon and it doesn't use up that much of your life bar apparently. So alright, let's do it. I've been wanting to kick those assholes in their assholes all day. Let's go. Use the kill star to blow open the main gate wide. Jesus. Bloody hell. Knock, knock. That's epic. Objective. Kill everything. <laughs> kill everything. everything. Kill. Kill. <laughs> this is okay. awesome. Okay, this is a cool way to end the game, or well, at least do a final mission. Yeah, it doesn't use that much health at all. Well, I mean, you must not get too overzealous, though. Oh, that is awesome. Epic. Right, we're still getting some money, though, so I have a feeling that we can do loads of free roaming um, afterwards, but that's okay. Oh, there's a dragon. I'm not going down, Mr. Dragon. You are so going down. Oh, hang on. Two seconds, Mr. Dragon. I'll get you. I'll get you. Dead. We heal ourselves, and we're good to go. God, this is so cool. Nope, Yomi, you were right. This is an amazing weapon. Oh, God, there's people everywhere, but I don't care because I'm an 80s action star. And therefore... I can't be killed. I can just walk in and just waltz around like this and not worry about death. Until I realise it's a video game, not quite an 80s movie, and then I can actually die. <laughs> and that was with my left hand. Oh, that was awesome. Sweet. Oh, some health as well. Awesome. Which is now essentially ammo <laughs> for this gun. But that's fine. I like it. One more ammo! Or a health stroke. Hammo. Hammo! That's what it is. We've got some hammo. Awesome, because we're hamming it up big time with our awesome weapon of mass destruction. <gasps> Even more hammo! I think the game wants me to ham things up. There's more of me and you than just programming. We even share the same blue colored blood now, son. Wrong, Sloan. My blood is red, white, and blue. In America! Whoa! America! F yeah! Gonna blast you with my big kill laser, America! F yeah! Don't forget America. I don't know where I was going with that. Right, anyway. <clears throat> I need to pay attention. I keep running away, then pay attention, then run away again. I really sorry. Right, hang up. Now that's a power up. Get everybody. I think they're all dead. Good times. God, this gun is awesome. I don't even know if it really is a gun, but it's a big laser cannon, so it might as well be. It's like, what's the point in giving me any other weapon? Just give me plenty of health, like you seem to be doing already, game, and I'm jobs are good, and really. Well, I'm sure there'll be some bit at the end where uh, we'll get everything taken away from us. Oh, God, they just explode! It's. Uh, oh, my God, it's just so awesome! <laughs> Why doesn't that count as an explosive kill? It's like headshot. It's like, no, he exploded. That was such an explosive kill. Look, they just blow up. It's like, no, that's not, a that's not an explosive kill. It's like, it bloody is, you know. That's so cool. Now, this is how you end the game. Just OP, over the top, laser of death. And just recharge and you're good to go. Whoops. Hello. Uh, laser of death. Let's just look at them explode. It's so good. Hail to the king. Yes, if only Ash from Evil Dead had this. <laughs> It probably wouldn't be as funny. He 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 needs a chainsaw. 
whether it's practical or not. Oh, and it's Boomstick as well. Oh, you play. Action completed. Thank you, you play, for being in the way of everything. Damn it, Ubisoft and EA trying to muscle in on Steam and DMC rights, all that MacGuffin. Kill! Explode! Oh, it's just so satisfying. I shouldn't be thinking of mass death like this, but I don't think these are actually real life people. I think they're like reanimated bodies, I think, or something like that. I can't remember where I read it. It was in the uh, information section, I think, to the game that we read at the end of the video. Fight your way through to the docks. I've done that. Oh, it's a helicopter! Kill! Destroy! Destroy! Oh, this is so cool! I'm in heaven. I didn't even know this was going to be my heaven. But it is. Arr! Yes. Oh! Kill! Kill! Need a light indeed! Oh, this is so good. I don't care what the weatherman says. If the weatherman says it's raining, I'm gonna kill you all with my laser. Doopy 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 doop. Uh oh. I think we're dead. No, oh, it survived somehow! Yeah, it's the underside of the creature that we have to get, isn't it? That's his weak spot. I've only just worked that out. I know it's been said in the game many times. Ow. Jerk. Dead now. Oh, I think we've actually leveled up now. I think we have. Have we leveled up? Well, I thought we did. Oh, maybe not. Or maybe we already have and I haven't actually noticed it. I think we're now 50% resistant to fire if we've leveled up now. Full level. I think we have actually. Oh, this is so cool. Yeah, best game ever. 10 out of 10. <laughs> it's just. It's so good. I love it. Mass death with giant hand laser. <laughs> I'm on fire. Now so are you. I love it. That's the best one of the one. That's the best one I've heard so far from Rick. I'm on fire. Now so are you. <laughs> so cool. Right. Not sure which way we're going. Are we going this? I think we're going that way. We don't want to go that way just yet. We're going to here. Unless we are meant to be going to there. Lonesome soldier. Uh oh, it's another dragon. Oh my god, they got RPGs? They got RPGs! Okay, fair enough, I'll give them credit. I mean, I suppose if you're going to react to something, an RPG would certainly do it! Oh my god, hello! Hello, Gary! Sorry, Gary. I know, it just has to be done. Well, they're all ganging up on me. Now, that is not fair. Back off, Gary. Man, I was pathetic there at that point. Ow! Was that another carry? Or was that just a random grenade shot? I've got no more health now. Uh-oh. Oh, oh we still got, like, a weird heal thing, so that's okay. Oh, look at him explode! I wish it was proper blood and gore. I can't believe I just said that. That is a really disturbing thing about me. It's okay, I've been, I've been long overdue to mental side of years ago. Long overdue. Oh, God. Oh, you think you're so smart? No, you're not! I'm crashing my fire. No! No! Even I cannot be immune to fire. But again, I think my fire i think my fire damage is hard. I, I would like to check my level, but I don't really want to destroy the flow of action. I do that a lot. But on this one occasion, I wish for it to continue. Now that's a power up. Alright, reached a checkpoint. Good signs. I like checkpoints. This is so cool! Just popping everybody off. This is great. Popping everybody off. That's a new sexual expression. I don't think you've heard that one before. I'm going to pop you off. <laughs> and that isn't an explosion of something from your penis. It's something much worse. Ah, boink. So much body fluid. So little time to gather them up and put them in eggs. I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. And I haven't been drinking. I'm totally sober. <laughs> That's the weird thing as well. Maybe all this drinking has finally sent my brain crazy. Well, that's a lie. It was already crazy, but maybe it's finally sent it to a level of craziness I never thought I could, I could do. Yes, the Nutcracker of Doom. I've done it. Actually, I don't know. Is that a Nutcracker? What he squeezes or something else? No idea. I'm on fire. So are you. Oh, there's somebody over there. Right. Is there anything else I can grab at this point, or is this all just pointless filler? I think it's pointless filler. Right. Let's just run to it. Do 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 do. What is this? 
<laughs> what is love? Baby, don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. No more. Neo Rambler, why are you singing? Don't hurt me with your singing. Sorry. <laughs> MB. I like that song. Right, anyway. Now then, where are we? Oh. Wait, we've already fought, you know, wait, we've already found those sharks before. Oh, I'm not worried about that. Unless there are sharks with lasers attached to their heads. Freaking laser beams attached to their heads. Seabirds. Damn it, Rex. I'm trying to make the world a better place. No more coddling the weak. No more politicians and lawyers and goddamn Democrats. It's going to be survival of the fittest. By turning everyone into dinosaurs? No, thank you. Then it's time to make you extinct. <clears throat> I wouldn't mind being turned into a dinosaur if that meant no democracy and no lawyers and stuff. That sounds awesome. You can just eat food all day, or at least eat meat if you're a carnivore or plants, and then just poo any way you like. It'd be great. Who doesn't want to live a life like that? Tell me you wouldn't want to live a life like that. I dare you, because you, you would be lying. Everybody wants to do that. I mean, we do that pretty much now anyway, but I mean, like, we can do it without care in the world. Awesome. Oh, well, anyway, right. Uh, let's see. There's a ting here. Let's go in tier. Oh, next to interact. Oh, my God. <laughs> I love it. How is this? I am the Battle Armor Dragon Assault Strike System. Your kill star controls my brain cage, instructing me that you are my rider. What? Hello. Get out. That's ours? With a hydraulically powered Terror 4000 cannon. This is the best game ever. I think I'll take you out for a spin. Oh my god, this is awesome. This, this is brilliant. I love this game. Oh my god, we get to ride it. Oh, sweet. Except I don't know how to ride it. How do I ride it? This is for you, spider. Oh, I see. Oh my god, this is so cool. Yes! <laughs> Brilliant! I must break you. <laughs> You're certainly going to get broken now. <laughs> you are so dead. 80s dinosaurs. <laughs> I have shot you. Oh, this is great. Oh, it's a rail shooter. Is he moving on his own then? Oh, he moves on his own. Oh, MB. Oh, okay. I thought I was controlling him. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> yes! This, this is what I look for in a brilliant 10 out of 10 game. Is that the Rocky theme in the background? It certainly sounds like it, it does. I, I can't tell because I've got the volume too quiet on my end, but that sounds like the Rocky theme, that is epic. It does! Oh, this is so good. I'm just drinking in the atmosphere. This is what my heaven would be like. I mean, obviously... No, no! Dinosaurs and lasers. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> I am happy. So am I. Oh, this is so good. Oh, I'm in heaven. I love it. It's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. It is, my friend. It's so it is when you're in the 80s. With dinosaur laser like cat and things, it's brilliant. This, this is what it's all about. They don't make things like this anymore. Future is bleak. But back in the 80s, everything was awesome. <gasps> Missiles! Oh, they're popping the fireworks! Look at him! Oh, this is great! Oh, I loved it. It was on just like... Did I die? Oh, no. What the hell? No! No! My dinosaur! No! Oh my god, his head came off! You bastard! Welcome home, killer. 
Oh, well, I was doing well until you came along. Sloan, the only killing I got left in me is killing you. And then what? Retire to the suburbs? Yeah. Mow the lawn every Saturday and watch football on Sunday? You bet. That ain't you bet. You don't mow down lawns. You mow down lives. But I mow for a living. You're crazy. <laughs> I like grass. God, now. Not just man. Not just machine. But a fusion of both. A new Zeus on high ruling the new species of man. You could have been one of my cyber priests. Serving with free will at my right hand. But I guess it's time to retire you block wars once and for all. You guessed wrong, Sloan. Dead wrong. Alert. Systems compromised. Unable to kill Sloan. Damn it! I'm so sorry, Reverend. Oh no. You've grown all soft. Ah! Them Washington politicians. Do you know they've been negotiating for peace with the Rams? <gasps> What? Peace. We can't have that! Uh, why can't I kill you? You pathetic son of a bitch! You ain't nothing but a bundles of wires and program. There was nothing left of Rex Power Code when it found you. Just DNA. Without a soul. No. I gave you my memories, my experiences, my childhood. No! No! <gasps> No! <laughs> we did it together. That was pretty. You into a machine and saved your life, but it never changed what really mattered: your heart and those you breasts of hers. Brother. Your soul, too, Spider. Ow! Hit my chest. Well, no. Well, he is, but he obviously was able to satisfy you in the bedroom. <laughs> I know, and I didn't get a chance. That's so mean, game. So what now, Rex? Oh, the power's down to my head, if you know what I mean. Your research, the weapons, the dragon's blood. Is that what you want? An army of monsters? That's what Sloan wanted, but I'm not him. I reactivated all the fail-safe booby traps in the bunkers. Just one push, and everything goes up in flames. You, you saved us, Rex. Or just maybe, Doc. This time, you saved me. Oh, I love it. No, the cliches. We saved each other. Oh, even better. Yes, that is how you end a story. And no, that's not Michael Bay. That's proper 80s. Oh, <gasps> oh no. No! Oh, what could it not have been a happy 80s ending? Or is it just that she's got dragon, dragon's blood in her? I don't know. Oh, that was great. I didn't care. I enjoyed that. That was awesome. Oh, this is so cool. I'm going to get copyrighted for this, but I don't care. It's worth it. It's so worth it. Oh, that was brilliant. I love that. Absolutely loved it. I mean, it's not perfect, I know, but it was such a great ensemble of 80s cliches and the ending was just amazing that we got to ride a dinosaur with freaking lasers coming out of his eyes. <laughs> and it ended with a giant explosion, he gets the girl, then the girl turns out to be evil. That was a bit of a, not really a proper 80s ending, that shouldn't have happened. But I guess, I guess they couldn't go full 80s where he would have snogged the girl, it might have been a bit too objectifiable, I can get that, but still, either way, awesome. Maybe she's just got the dragon's blood in her, that's all.
but it was so good. I really enjoyed that game. That was really cool. I'm really glad. I can't remember who gifted this to me. I think it was Henk. Either way, whoever it was, thank you so much. I really enjoyed this. It's such a great game. Oh, it was good. I, I liked it. I know, I know it's just Far Cry 3 with a different lick of paint, but it was a really cool lick of paint. And it's the kind of thing I love. I love 80s stuff. I'm just so... When I say 80s stuff, I love 80s movies, 80s music, all that stuff. I know 80s wasn't exactly the best of times, I'll give you that. Um, but... It's just so happily camp. I love it. I love it so much. Oh... <laughs> Just listen to the lyrics, it's so good. <laughs> That's great. Oh, I love it. They just don't make films like this anymore. Maybe because it had its time. I mean, I know, it, well, they did have its time, but I guess they just exhausted them out. Like, everything happens, you know, you have too much of a good thing, everybody gets bored of it. But I'm bored now of all stuff nowadays, which is all deep and serious, and everybody has to be correct, and everybody has to be tolerant and all that. And it's like, no, blow crap up! Be that 80s cliched person you once wanted to be. It was awesome. Even if it was false, it was an awesome false. Because trust me, the world's still false today. But if I have to choose a false world, I choose this one. Hands down. Nope, loved it. Really good fun. Really enjoyed that. Um, yeah, I probably won't be able to get to show you all the extra stuff. But that's okay. I don't think it really matters. I think, I think it was just that the ending made up for it. <laughs> it's a shame you didn't get to kill Sloane yourself though, that would have been cool. But then again, I think actually the cutscene was actually pretty cool itself, so I don't mind. You know, it would have been nice to have like fought him and then have the cutscene afterwards to kill him. Um, but whatever, the dinosaur with the thing at the end was awesome, so I don't care. <laughs> and then we stopped the missiles as well with the with the uh, laser eyes and they sort of exploded in fireworks and stuff. Oh, it was great. Really cool. Right, okay, so that's that's LP finally finished then. I'm very happy to finish it. So if you've watched any of this, can I say thank you very much for doing so. And if you've watched this, I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did because it was freaking awesome. If you hadn't guessed that already, it was repeatable and all. Um, yeah, great. Uh, next LP is coming up soon, and it is, like I hinted in my update video, a sequel to a game we've already played on this channel. I'm looking forward to playing it. I mean... Um, I've heard many things about it, but I don't know the story, I don't know what happens in it. Um, and uh, I heard it didn't get as good reviews as the first one, but it's still worth a play. And somebody gifted it to me and I think, well, I, I'm, I'm looking forward to it, it's going to be cool, I'm really looking forward to it. I think I'll enjoy it. Um, but we'll see, but anyway, that's later, not now. So yeah, but brilliant, loved it, loved this game to bits, really good. 80s music you just can't beat. Oh yeah, I'm sorry, these credits have been going on for a long time. My MB, I've run out of things to say now. <laughs> Which I guess is pretty much the norm. I don't really want to skip through them though, it'd be an insult to the game and the people who made it. No, I'm not going to skip through it, no, sod it. Yeah, like I said, you can stop watching it at this point, because obviously it's just going to go back to the main title screen, or maybe even to the island before the main mission or something like that, I don't know. Um, but yeah, if you've you know, I'm just letting them roll because I think it's respectful to the people who actually was involved in this game because this game was fun. I enjoyed it. Um, and, uh, yeah. I hope there's more 80s styles games out there. There are, actually. There's quite a few retro games that are, like, 80s style, which are really cool. I say retro games. Well, there's retro games and there's modern-day games that are retro style, 80s style, which I'm looking forward to. There's, there's uh, Death Row to Canada, which has got, like, an 80s feel to it. I like that. I don't know if it is set in the 80s, but it's got an 80s feel to it. Um, and there's, uh, oh, what's it called, Rampage City? It's like uh, a NES game that's sort of like, well, it's not a NES game, it's a NES style game based on uh, Grand Theft Auto and a few other things, and it's very 80s and stuff, that's awesome. And then, of course, you've got um, Metal Gear and Metal Gear Solid. They're quite 80s based. Obviously, um, Metal Gear Solid 2 onwards is a bit more modern day, but Metal Gear Solid 1 was very 80s based. I know it was set in the sort of future or in the late 90s. I can't remember which year first Metal Gear Solid game was set. But either way, it had that 80s feel with Snake and all that stuff. Loved it. I just loved the style. I don't know why. I just I, I, I just get so immersed into it and I just really enjoy myself. I get like such a buzz out of the music vibe. 
And I just get such a buzz out of the neon and the <laughs> just the incredible lighting. I just I just love it. It's just I would I would be in heaven if I was born earlier. I was born right at the end of the 80s, like three days before the 80s finished. And I've always hated that. I'd love to have been born in the 60s so that I'd fully appreciate the 80s, you know, like mid 60s and then have my teenage years in the 80s or like early 70s and then growing up in the 80s. Oh, it was such an exciting time to be a kid back then. In the West, anyway. I mean, if you're in the East, it would have been a different story, I guess. But, um, oh, it was good. Really good. But now, but the 90s weren't too bad. I mean, the 90s weren't quite as fun as the 80s, I don't think, in terms of what stuff was offered. But it wasn't bad, the 90s. I, I, I miss the 90s. I'd go back to the 90s for a bit. They had some crackingly good games consoles and games back then in the 90s, as well as the 80s, as we know. But the 90s had some really good stuff. I guess the early 2000s had some good stuff as well, but ever since, I believe, personally, the PlayStation 2, Xbox, GameCube, Dreamcast era, it's kind of gone downhill a bit. I did like the PlayStation 3. I mean, I owned a, I owned an original PlayStation 360 gigabyte model before it blew up, uh, the yellow light of death and all that. Um, and it was a cool console, and it eventually had some really cool games for it, so I did like the PS3, and I, I appreciate the 360 had some good ones as well, but I wasn't... I didn't like the franchises exclusive to it, like Gears of War. I wasn't really a fan of Gears of War. Um, I liked Mass Effect, while well, the first one was exclusive to the Xbox. Anyway, that was good. I played, Xbox, I played uh, Mass Effect 1 and 2 on the 360. They were good. I know you can get them on the PS3 and all that, but I like them. Um, what else? Uh, yeah, but I think... I, yeah, I, and I, I, I like the Wii U as well. I really do like the Wii U. It's not the best console in the world. It's very clunky, but I like it. I, not because it's different, but because it... It felt like a, a rebirth of a Super Nintendo, like the Super Wii. They should have called it something like that. Or not just called it the Wii, called it something a bit different. It was very poorly marketed, the Wii U, it really was. And it was underpowered, I know, compared to like um, the PS4 and Xbox One when they were coming out. It was underpowered, but it was a great console. I've still got all my Wii U games. I don't plan on selling those, I'm keeping them. I want to collect for the Wii U, actually, so I'm going to start trying to do that. Um, now that the, the consoles are going to cease manufacturing as well, I need to get a couple of consoles in stock because uh, the only trouble with the Wii U is is trying to fix them is really tricky. Um, sometimes, so yeah. But mine's alright at the moment; it's still still hot, hanging in there. Um, but yeah, no, uh, I'm just I'm just filling in things. Oh, these credits we go on for a long time. God damn it! But again, it's got to be it's got to be done. I, I have to do this for the market games respect because I loved it so much. Um, but. Uh, yeah, I like the Wii U. Um, but yeah, and I like the PS3. I, I like the old school PS3, like the first 60 gig model. I always liked that really clunky behemoth look of it. It was like gigantically, massively beasty. And yes, it was very expensive, I'll grant it that. But it felt, when you bought it, you felt like you bought something really powerful, you know? And when I bought it, it was like, Christ, 400 quid. Although, um, I got an extra control. I got, what did I get with it? I got Motor Storm and Resistance with it. And I think I got an extra controller for 400 quid. It was pretty because I got the last of the 60 gigabyte models with the PS2 backwards capabilities um, before they brought out the 40 gig models and then the, the 80 gig and all that stuff where they got they dropped the PS2 backwards compatibility. Um, yeah, I love my 60 gig PS3. That was I love that console so much. It was so beasty. Yes, I know the Xbox had you know cheaper and better games. I, I will grant it that. And the Xbox was certainly cheaper and affordable and. To be fair, in terms of the CPU power though, and the GPU power though, the PS3 I believe was a tad stronger in the graphics department. Um, it was really hard to program for, and it still is, you know, because it was a bit like the Sega Assassin. It had like eight CPUs in it, or like eight little CPUs. <laughs> I don't mind, I love that sort of thing, but yeah, it was really difficult to program for, uh, for ages. Even towards the end of its lifespan, it was still pretty hard, but a lot better. You know, Sony works very hard to turn it around. Um, not really been a fan of the Xbox One and the PS4, though I have to admit I like the Xbox One S. I like the look of it, and I certainly like its little updates and all that. I like the Xbox One S, so that's pretty neat. And I would like to get a PS4 Pro, because like I said, I haven't got a PS4 of my own. I borrowed my brother's when he was going around the world, but he's back now. But I would like a PS4 Pro. And I have to be honest, out of this modern, current generation of consoles, as much as it's changing a bit, and it's a bit more like PC, and... A lot of the games feel a bit rushed or unfinished or broken and, or really used uncompressed code and that kind of thing. Um, I think the PS4 has a very extensive library. If you look hard enough, 
it's got some really bizarre but really interesting games that don't necessarily push it to the limit but because Sony was very homebrew friendly for a change in terms of the fact that they said look if you want to make a homebrew game from PS4 you can and if you want to make physical copies just go through us and we'll do it there's quite a lot out there and they're really cool um, I'm sure the Xbox One has some but I haven't seen as many but I might be because I haven't been looking for it hard enough um, excuse me but yeah no um yeah, current generation at the moment, I haven't bothered, I haven't rushed to get the latest games, I haven't... Oh, excuse me, I haven't rushed to get like a PS4 or an Xbox One. I was collecting for my Neo Geo, I, I, I liked that instead. Um, but I would like to get a PS4 Pro just because it's a bit beefier. Not because it's proper 4K gaming, it isn't, but it's it would be... If I was to get a PS4, you'd get a Pro if you haven't got one already, it kind of makes sense. Um, but yeah, I'd like to get one and see some games in that because there are some cool games. I do own a couple of games, I mean, I own King of Fighters 14. Um, that was pretty awesome, and uh, I've got Doom as well. I like the new Doom from Bethesda. That was a good game. That was really enjoyed Doom. That that had that was that was a return to form. Um, yeah, Doom was good. God, these credits got for ages. I know. I get it, game. Okay, a lot of people were involved in it, but jeez. <laughs> God almighty! If you're still hanging in here with me, fair play to you. But I'd imagine by now you'd have gone. I'll be on my own. But that's okay. I means I can ramble whatever I want. Uh -huh. um, but yeah, now there's modern day gaming. I have to be honest. I've not really got into it. I don't really like online multiplayer gaming. I've never really been obsessed with it or anything. Um, not because it's bad. I'm just not very social uh, like that. I like making videos for YouTube and socialising with you guys and girls when you leave comments. I love that. That's fine. I enjoy that. Um, but yeah, online gaming is, is just something I've I did. I was heavily into it at one point. Um, I, I played a lot of Modern Warfare 2 for a bit online. I really enjoyed that, and then it killed my PS3 because <laughs> I overheated it. Um, but I like single-player games with stories. I've always been like that. But then again, I'm old-school gamer. You know, I've been around since the 90s gaming. So um, I grew up with a lot of single-player game experiences, um, and I really enjoyed them. So I never really jumped on the bandwagon when online gaming became a thing. I just did for a little bit and then I just thought nah I'm bored it's, it's just the same thing over and over and over again it just doesn't satisfy me I like a good story objectives that you know make a change in the world and I don't just mean like um, you know like, uh, sandbox style games I mean like proper story games like Final Fantasy and all that sort of stuff although Final Fantasy recently has been really shite don't know what don't know what to expect for um, don't know what to expect for Final Fantasy 15 other than the fact that they've gone completely the opposite from Final Fantasy XIII, where it was like corridor, 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 can't go anywhere but the corridor, no towns or cities to really see, just corridor, and they've basically gone to big open fields, and you're like, okay, what's going to be in there? Uh, big open fields! Oh, okay, so you've literally gone from one extreme to the other, and I'm hoping that, obviously, they put some towns and cities in to explore, and it's, uh, it's good, but... You know, I can appreciate. I, I will give Final Fantasy games credit. Their music tracks, their soundtracks are exquisitely good, and their cutscenes are breathtakingly beautiful. Like the CGR that goes into them is wonderful. Um, even in Final Fantasy Thirteen, I like the soundtrack to Thirteen, and I like some of the cutscenes in terms of the graphics and the style. Really cool. Um, so I'll give them that. You know, as a cinematic piece, they're good. But yeah, recently they've been so poor of form. But it might be because they're so hard to program for. They're very big games, and everybody wants them to be. When a new Final Fantasy game comes out, if you're interested, you want it to be, you know, next gen graphics, next gen big epic story, next gen towns and cities to explore. That must take a lot of programming and a lot of money and a lot of time. And I can understand as a business perspective, you want to cut it back a bit. Um, but yeah. God almighty, how many people have done on this game? Jesus, it's like going around the world. And I've got to go in a minute. I'm going to go pick up my sister from a thing. Oh, hate being done to time. I thought I could get this done quickly. Well, I've got a few minutes yet. That's alright, she's always a bit late to uh, out of the thing. I should have enough. Um, but yeah, no. Uh, I, I do, but I've been, you know, I've been PC gaming a lot as well because it's been a lot easier to um, LP with a PC, and um, I've enjoyed PC gaming. I, I don't PC game like again to the full specs or anything. I don't have a cutting edge PC, um, and I'm not really interested in getting one. I've toyed with the idea in my head, but ultimately, as long as I can play the game with relatively good graphics, like on a console, I'm quite happy. But then again, I grew up with consoles, so that sort of thing um, is fine with me. Whereas um, um, you know, cutting-edge PC 
computers that have the cutting edge graphics. It, I'm sure it's really cool and fun to play. And from an editing standpoint, making videos, you'd need a cutting edge PC to you know cut down on editing time, being able to do all kinds of special effects of videos and stuff. That works. Or if you do graphics programming or rendering or whatever, yeah, I get that. But as a gamer, meh, I'm alright, you know, I'm pretty chilled. Hooray! Finally! I can't believe I made it all the way through. Don't know if you guys and girls did, but if you did, well done. I wish I could give you a reward. Return to the island and continue killing. Yeah, go on then. Awesome. So, right, we can actually return to the island even though we've exploded it. <laughs> Everything's fine now. <laughs> Be badass all the way. That's so cool. Alright then. Well, I'm going to leave it here, I think. I won't bother with the extra stuff unless there's a demand for it later on, but I highly doubt it. But, uh, yeah, really, really enjoyed that. So, again, can I say thank you very much if you stayed all this way. Uh, with the game. Um, again, thank you so much for joining me on this. Hope you enjoyed it. And like I said, I will be starting a new LP soon. So take it easy. Have a good one. Hope you're well. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.